Las Vegas real estate market highly overvalued? In this video, we will discuss the great price gains in the Las Vegas real estate market in the first five months of 2018, and then point out the fatal error in Fitch rating report, which claims that home prices are overvalued by 21.3% here. Las Vegas real estate market for single family homes. This graph shows the active listing inventory of single family homes from May 2016 to May 2018. Up to October 2016, the active listing inventory hovered around 9,500 listings. Then within four months, it dropped to less than 8,000. By January 2018, it further dropped to about 5,500 listings before a nominal increase to 5,700 listings in the last two months. While the listing inventory of single-family houses dropped by 41% in the last two years, demand has increased and sales have been increasing in the last four years, and in 2017, 34,317 homes sold in Las Vegas. The best way to work in both active listing inventories and unit sales is months of listing inventory. While the months of listing inventory hovered around three to four months prior to last year, it dropped to two months and has been dropping to less than two months since March 2018. The laws of supply and demand always rule supreme. Three months worth of listing inventory results in a seller's market and two months of listing inventory results in a strong seller's market. And this trend is not reversed until we reach five to six months of listing inventory. And there are no signs of that happening at the present time. Significant increase in the median price of single family houses. As we stated, the median price of Las Vegas homes is at $295,000 in May 2018. This is 18% higher than the same 18 months ago and 10.1% higher than January 2018. Las Vegas real estate market for townhomes. The months of listing inventory for townhomes has dropped to less than two months and in the last three months it has hovered around 1.5 months. At the end of May, the median price of Las Vegas townhomes is at $201,750, which is 15.3% higher than 18 months ago and 9.1% since January 2018. Las Vegas real estate market for condos. The months of, of listing inventory for condos have been hovering around two months, which results in higher pricing. At the end of May 2018, the median price of Las Vegas condos is at $138,000, which is 22.7% higher than the beginning of 2017 and 6.2% .2 higher than January 2018. The median price of high-rise condos is up by 8.5% since the start of the year as well. As you can see, the median price gains for residential real estate are significant. However, we have finished every Las Vegas housing market report by saying that these price appreciations are due to severely low listing inventories and not organic. Additionally, price hikes will continue until we get far more active listings than we do now. The way Fitch ratings do their calculations is they look at the economic improvements in the local market and then compare it to the home price gains in the same period of time. For example, they wrote that nominal income, population, and rental rate growth have been in the 2.06% to 2.46% range, but home prices have gone up at 11%. The deal with mathematical equations is that your initial assumptions affect the outcome, and bad assumptions lead to totally wrong results, even if the math is sound. The fatal error in this report is that they have not taken into account where we came from after the Great Recession when home prices were far below their true market value. In May 2002, before the great run-up of home prices, the median price of a single-family homes was $163,500, while the same in 2011 stood at $118,000. But forget all of the fluctuations and take the $163,500 median price in 2002 and 3-5% to 4.5% to appreciation rates, which are considered normal for the next 16 years. 
If we had a 3.5% median price appreciation rate for single family houses, the current median price would be at $283,500. At 4%, it would be $306,200. And at 4.5%, it would have been at $330,650. The median price of single family houses in May 2018 stands at $295,000, which is less than 4% annual appreciation per year. And yet they say Las Vegas housing market is in a bubble. No, it is not. This is the reason that newspaper reporters should avoid writing art articles that involve math. Now, say that this Fitch rating report was totally right. Then there should be a mechanism for prices to come down, and the only way would be either increasing supply or less demand. And there is no signs of either one. Lastly, in January 2011, the median price of single-family houses stood at $118,000. The same in January 2013 was $150,000 for 20% home price appreciation, while the local economy didn't improve by double-digit rates. So per Fitch ratings, we were highly overpriced back then, and see what happened. The current median price is about double of what it, it was back then. Do we need to say more? If you find the information in Las Vegas real estate market highly overvalued and lightning, please like and share it. We spend a great deal of time on researching the Las Vegas housing market in addition to how to get the best possible deals in any kind of market and would love to have your business. Given that we refuse to monetize our videos, we can't put a link for the website which has tons of great information on the video However, we do have a link for the blog post with the embedded video and video transcript, as well as a contact link in the video description. Please make sure to visit our website and contact us with any questions. If you want to buy or invest in Las Vegas homes, condos, or townhomes, please call us at 702-478-7800. On behalf of the Sauber team, this is Karen Sauberzade of Realty One Group and www.lasvegasforus.com. Wishing you a great day.